Hi, my name is Emma and this is season two of Spin Blinks, an online program by Spin Malta dedicated to the making of dance. Spin Blinks are short videos that explore the ways we can create choreography and each month we will investigate different choreographic tools as well as their historical and contemporary use in dance works. In this month's episode, we are looking at collaboration. Dance, even at its most basic form, has always been a collaborative art form, but collaboration in a choreographic process often refers to other theatrical elements of a work that when added to a production, enrich it with the multiplicity of art forms. Choreographers can work with visual artists, composers, lighting designers, costume designers, dramaturgs, researchers, and anyone working with any medium if they think it can enhance a work. If we go back through the history of Euro-Western dance, it wasn't until Diaghilev's Ballet Russe that the idea of equal collaboration was created. By commissioning high quality and innovative artists for music, choreography, set design and costumes, ballet became recognized as a major theater art. The close integration of all elements created spectacles, the effects of which trickled down into popular fashion and culture and this concept of total art, which valued all artistic disciplines, continued and sparked an influx of creativity and historical alliances. Later, in the 1940s, Merce Cunningham and composer John Cage began a long-term collaborative partnership and completely reinvented what it meant to work together. Their designs of movement and music were created independently, and when these elements finally interacted, what emerged was a product of chance and often accidental composition, similar to the methods of creation that both artists used in their own mediums. Neither music or choreography was dependent on the other. Both forms of art could stand alone and yet coexist in space and time. In any process, collaborating artists must decide how much they will work apart as individuals on parallel journeys which could be to preserve the unique voice or signature of each artist, and how much time they will work synchronously in a shared space with shared ideas. Cunningham and Cage not only broke the framework of the relationship between music and dance, but were instrumental in the progress of technology as a collaborative tool, both in research and performance. For Variations 5, they developed an interactive dance environment that detected movements and translated them into musical events, allowing real-time performance collaboration. Choreographers like Wayne McGregor continued to innovate with technology and choreography, whether interactive, as visual art, or even using AI as a co-creator of movement in the studio. In 2020, we relied on technology to create accessibility and some alternative to the physical contact required for choreography, but it soon became a medium of collaboration and channeled new creativity born from these limitations. All these types of collaboration vary from process to process and depend on a choreographer's vision as well as practical aspects like budget and time. They must also decide on the involvement and input of each artist Perhaps they already have a specific idea to commission or wish to create something new with an artistic element that already exists. Other times they may set out on a creation together with equal autonomy as co-creators. To understand these relationships, we can look at the creation of Voyager by Paolo Mangela, who initiated the collaboration by inviting to the process artists who he thought could both challenge and enhance his vision. He shared his research interests, questions and curiosities, and each artist started their processes independently with a chance to translate the work in their own way. Austin began by looking into the idea of a sundial, a device to scan time and the duration of performance, which blurred the boundaries of the choreographic structure. He also designed an object to reference something within our own nature, organic, ingrained in the past, and something alien projected into the future. It was only later in the process that he worked more intimately with Paolo, 
and they found ways to structure the two elements of choreography and visual design to complement and highlight each other. Veronique worked more closely with Paolo throughout, as his work has a close relationship between movement and score, mostly with the aspect of duration, rather than each movement needing to match the music. The score had to constantly adapt to the changing structure of choreography. She translated the theme of Voyager spacecrafts through experimenting with 80s synth sounds and her own ideas from their initial meetings, occasionally being inspired by the movement she saw in rehearsals. There were many collaborations involved on this journey, all with varying timelines of involvement, but one of the most important collaborations in any process is between the maker and the dancers. A choreographer works with dancers as their medium to create movement on, and their role can range from an instrument to carry out instructions, to a creative contributor and interpreter of the maker's vision. Innovation in art is often the result of collaboration and knowledge sharing, which happens on every level of an artistic process. Artists across all disciplines are composers of space and time in some way, and the sharing of these art forms can only continue to provide creative possibilities and original work. <laughs>